Hello, this is Matthew with Technomicon Media, and this week's Game Tech article is Mass Effect 3 The Review. What I'm starting with here is uh, the Normandy, which is the player's ship. You're the commander of the Normandy, and uh, the Mo Normandy is quite huge. And I'm starting with the shuttle bay, which is where the player will um, upgrade and uh, mod out their weapons. Shown here is a sniper rifle with uh, mods. I went with the uh, infiltrator class, which is kind of like a a rogues, I guess, is the closest uh, MMO slash RPG class I could think of, just because you can stealth and you get big crits on um, on your sniper weapon, uh, popping out of stealth specifically. So basically, the shuttle bay is where you can upgrade your weapons, you can purchase upgrades, as well as um, buying uh, new weapons as well. So you can do uh, multiple multiple things in the shuttle bay and um, you can speak of course with with a few different NPCs that that often have quests for you or at least dialogue quests I call them and um, just moving on to just this is the bridge now of the Normandy there's uh, multiple layers and levels to the ship so you can spend a lot of time just exploring the ship. Uh, usually the first time you enter the Normandy that you can actually control your character and move around, uh, every notable NPC will have sort of like dialogue quests for you where they get to know you and you can gain reputation. And uh, one of the cool things is on the war bridge for the Normandy, you can, you can look at the, uh, the, the Alliance assets uh, and what that is is you're at war, the entire galaxy is sort of at war with the Reapers and, and your kind of mission is to is to collect all these unallied forces into one kind of cohesive unit and, and make your final assault uh, against the Reapers later on in the campaign. But just to kind of give you an idea, I'm still on the bridge level, which is one of the one of the multiple levels you can go on and there's this is the bridge. Um, you know, that's kind of a scaled replica hollow projection of the Normandy's exterior and um, I'm actually going to show you guys uh, a quest real quick or not a quest but you know chat dialogue with crew member uh, this is your pilot Joker and um, and his sidekick ED they have a little romance thing going on it's kind of kind of interesting uh, plot development for for characters and you'll find this all over the ship where you just uh, engage in dialogue with with various crew members uh, and just learn things about them and and sort of learn their role and their backstory as to how they ended up on the ship and how they're serving with you now and it's it's pretty cool stuff it certainly adds to the flavor of the game so here's some uh, combat in Mass Effect 3 and of course uh, I stated earlier that that I'm a infiltrator so my primary weapons are um, sniper rifles I mean I use pretty much um, two weapons really and, and that's a sniper rifle uh, for kind of distance heavy targets and then I use an assault rifle for um, for just small targets that when there's a lot of them you know because the the hindrance of a sniper rifle in Mass Effect 3 is it's really slow reload and um, uh, yeah reload speed so you may only get off you know one shot every couple of seconds whereas you know with, with the weapon I'm using now you can you can just dump ammo and just kind of lay down a lot of suppression fire and and, and take out a lot of weak you know quote unquote weak targets and there's certainly a lot of other weapons that I can equip and some and and earlier when I first started playing uh, you can actually hold up to five weapons and um, the other weapon types are uh, you know one-handed kind of submachine guns uh, pistols and shotguns the the problem with carrying that many weapons is that uh, it, it weighs you down it slows you down and it, and it affects uh, your power recharge speed and I think you guys just saw that I was uh, dropping into stealth and and that's sort of like the the infiltrators uh, you know hallmark ability is you can stealth uh, and the cool cool thing about stealth is you can sort of you know recon ahead of the rest of your party as well as you get a huge damage bonus when you when you exit stealth and you attack so those are those are really good things to 
to utilize and, and using that sort of with um, in conjunction with sniper rifles you can go into stealth uh, shoot a target and, and it takes a huge chunk of their life down as you just saw um, and, and that's what I use my sniper rifle for is, is really big heavy hitting targets that, that have a lot of armor slash health so here we have um, kind of a cool cinematic boss fight I, I like to call it uh, this is a reaper um, I like to call it the reaper boss because you, this is the only real time that you that you fight a reaper uh, you know one on one and, and you're not really fighting it you're actually just lazing the target you have um, your entire fleet in space but they can't seem to to target the reaper so what you're doing is lazing the target and uh, this fight's pretty straightforward I mean all you need to do is, is dodge the the huge red beam and just kind of play it through and at the very end there's sort of a cinematic with uh, with your fleet just taking down the reaper and, and what's kind of interesting is that one thing I found in Mass Effect 3 is the in-game you know content and, and action and, 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 and rendering looks looks better than, than these cinematics you know so that, that's kind of an interesting thing I found is this the the, the, the crispness and the and the rendering of the of the Reaper looks better when you're actually fighting it than when they when they do this cutscene. So there you go. So in Mass Effect 3, there's all sorts of uh, little side missions, and there's this mini game which which I wanted to give sort of special note because it's it's really fun. And what you do is you is you go into kind of exploration mode, and you're and you're going around the um, the cosmos, the galaxy, and uh, basically finding assets. And what you do is you're pinging the map with your scanners, but the the, the the deal is is that every time you you ping the map you're alerting reaper forces that you're in the area so eventually once you start pinging a lot uh, you you basically alerted them and and the trick is to try to discover all these you know assets and I just found a couple and, and get them before the reapers get to you even if the reapers get to you you can, you can exit the the specific uh, planetary system and, and re-enter and, and try to kind of dodge around the forces and and get your targets but he, what you do is when you when you find an asset you go to the planet and you sort of scan around and uh, I just thought it was a pretty cool mini game and once again this is Matthew for Technomicon Media Thanking you for watching, and for the full article on Mass Effect 3, uh, please visit our website at www.technomicon.com.